Hey guys, my name is Matt Wiss. I'm the co-founder at Email Ties, where we specialize in retention marketing for e-commerce businesses. And in this video, I would love to share with you everything I've learned so far from doing SMS marketing, mostly in the United States, but also in the UK and in Australia. We've generated well over seven figures for all of our clients and partners. And yeah, let's dive right in and let me show you how you can benefit from SMS marketing. So of course, if you are still skeptical about SMS marketing, it is highly underutilized channel for e-commerce businesses. Every time we talk to brand owners in Europe, they it's unheard of over there. In the United States, it's becoming very, very popular. There's a lot of tools, a lot of software, but still a lot of confusion when it comes to SMS marketing. It's, it's a bit different, it's similar to email marketing. It should be unified with your email marketing endeavors. However, you have to stick to and adhere to many more rules, especially in different states. So it might be a little bit confusing and we'll show a little bit more in this video later on. However, as you can imagine, just like you, your family members, everyone you know, every time you talk to them, they have their phone next to them most likely it's going to be either in their pocket or in their hands you will see everyone with their phone right same with smartwatches. that's why sms marketing it's almost guaranteed to see to to, sh to make sure that the, your message is being delivered and seen by obviously your potential customers or your existing customers i don't have to convince you there it's definitely perfect for today's consumers because that's how we live. We are, we like to text back and forth with people. If you have maybe you're if you have a pet, maybe if you start chatting with pet providers or pet stores uh, that provide food. I've had great experience with those. those. Those were probably the first encounter with SMS marketing I had personally. When I was ordering food, I had a very, we still have our chief wolf officer, Freddy. It's a very picky dog. So I was able to chat with that person back and forth from customer support and find the perfect solution. So it's a perfect time, perfect, perfect way to really communicate with your clients and I'm sorry, customers, the way they communicate amongst themselves. So why Shopify? Obviously direct communication, email, it's not as often visited as you would visit your, you would see your iMessages or messages, right? That's why it's such an important channel. And we see brands adding an extra 15 to 25% off sales from SMS alone. And if you're in Europe, SMS might not be the right way for you or the, at the moment. Try WhatsApp marketing. It's very similar and it might help you as well. WhatsApp marketing is a strong thing. So um, let's move on. Immediate engagement, I already covered that. So let's talk about some use cases. Cart abandonment recovery. That actually is not only for abandoned cart. So for example, when someone adds product to cart, goes to the checkout and leaves. This is one way you can follow up with people. But now you can actually follow up with people that enter your store, didn't even look at the product. You can follow up with them once. You have obviously more rules, so keep it very minimum. Browse abandonment, people looking at products and leaving. Follow up, showing the product they looked at and try to overcome objections there. People that added to cart but haven't gone to the checkout yet. You can recover those too. And all four steps here, including maybe we'll add like welcome experience, can significantly increase your sales and improve customer experience if you do it right. You can make it conversational as well, meaning people can text you back with options you present them and then be very, very specific. And you can even be as targeted as perhaps a person that received an email but haven't taken action on it, just these people would receive this particular message. So you can definitely segment it. Exclusive promotions, another use case, obviously treat SMS subscribers as your VIPs. I'm not sure in a second how you can actually grow your list much faster, your email and SMS list, because I believe this is a very big topic. I actually might do another video on that alone. So that's definitely, a SMS marketing is a strong strategy that not only drives sales, which can happen literally immediately after you send out text and will happen if you te start texting people and get they get used to it, but also gives them the sense of loyalty and exclusivity because they might check their inbox and they will see that, hey, you actually did send it only to your VIPs, which are your SMS subscribers. Transactional emails, reviews, 
when someone placed an order, you can improve their experience, but make it it's super easy for them to follow up and see where the product is at. And you actually communicate with them before they even receive the product. Very, very key. And people don't mind it. Every time you order a product, you're wondering, hey, where's my product? I want it now. What's happening? Is it any delays? Do I have, did I miss it? Did someone steal it? In America, you drop your package or someone that delivers drops your, the package in front of, at your front door. What if someone stole it? Your neighbor that was looking for the same product, right? You never know. I hear these stories all the time it, among our friends and family members. People steal stuff. So that can help you. Obviously, reviews, you can ask for reviews even with SMS. Reminders, upcoming sales, product drops, events, anything that is happening at your company that w- would be worth mentioning and making sure that as many people see it, use SMS for it. Build anticipation, ensure the customers will mark their calendars. Uh, integration with Shopify is pretty seamless. You can use tools such as Sendlane, very simple tool that you can use it in a unified way, email and SMS. You can use Attentive, you can use Postscript, and you can use even SMS Bump. Those tools are all good. You can use Klaviyo if you want to. Just pick one and stick to it. If you want to go unified, I would definitely recommend Sendlane. They have superb customer experience and they're building something really, really good, great for e-commerce businesses, especially in the United States. So you can integrate it really within an hour or two. Let your audience know that you have SMS going on right now. If they would like to get a special promo, they can text that number. You can invite them via email to start with and then add collect SMS subscribers via your pop-up. And if you wanted to do something faster, like Royal List and more in, in a faster way, highly recommend check out the guys at M. They literally specialize in signup forms. So even if it sounds like, oh, I can do it, build it on any platform, they can at least advise you on what you should try next and have access to a really seamless experience to grow your list faster. Um, I've seen behind the scenes, highly encourage you to check it out. Pro tip, gorgeous for streamlined communications. communication. So if you want to improve your customer experience, check out Gorgeous. This will help allow you. So every time, this is a help desk. So every time someone texts you or emails you, you will see it within Gorgeous. It integrates with Shopify as well. So you can see the lifetime value, how many pe- people, how many products people order. So it will also help you streamline the entire experience. Best practices. Permission, always make sure that it's clear every time you collect SMS consent. So making basically people allowing you to text them. You want to make sure that they see the whole text. It's very, very important. As easy opt out. As soon as they text you, stop. You will not send them another text. Very important frequency. Don't try to overwhelm your subscribers. And with that, I'd like to share with you the postscript article about, for example, rules compliance is changing in for SMS in the state of Florida. So you have to adhere to their quiet hours, for example, that are from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. You can text even if you have an automation, make sure it's following the alternate quiet hours. You want to make sure that you make it very clear to opt out or opt in, double opt in are recommended. And I believe they also have to have a number that you have to add a number that they can call. That Those are the rules that are changing in several states. Florida is one of the first ones that you have to stick to it. So make sure that whoever you go, whatever platform you go for, for uh, with, you choose for your store, make sure that you follow the rules. And if you are sending within the entire United States or in different countries, you stick to the rules as well because they are still very strict. For example, one rule that comes to mind mind right now is that if you send more than I believe two abandoned card SMS, you might get fined as well. It's sh- you shouldn't be doing that. Same with welcome SMS. Like on the email side, you can send 20 emails over the next 30 days for, for your welcome e- serious welcome flow. You can't do that with SMS. Make sure to follow the rules. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Give it the, the thumb up. Subscribe to the channel. I will share a lot more information and helpful tips, tools, Shopify apps that I've come across and use for us and for our clients. See you in the next video.